Hello, beautiful people around the world, a beautiful, confident, genuine, loving patriot. What's going on? I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Y'all know I love saying that, man. I am wishing the best in all you guys' life. Spread that love. God is love, man. And you never know what somebody around the world is going through. You know what I'm saying? Especially in 2024. It's our year, y'all. But I want to thank my brother Joseph for sending this one over in the email from Political Brawl. And um, again, like I say, in the, in the description box, I'm like, y'all can reach out to me, send me whatever you want me to react to, check out. Um, you know we got it on. If you need one, let me know. Yay! Let me know, man. But uh, again, as this being a reaction channel um, and spreading truth and, and you know, I, I want to love on you guys as much as I can, man. And like I tell y'all, you never know what somebody's been through. I don't care what your skin color is, where you're from, your, the, 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 what state, country, you know, hey, age. Everybody on this channel is loved and accepted, man. Okay? And I want that to be known. Whether you like it or not, you know what I'm saying? Whether you care or not, I want to let you know that I love you. And I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, your kids' life. We live in a very, very fast time travel is what most people forget, you know? We're here, then we're gone. And things just keep going and going. And, and what I tell y'all, I mean, life is, death is all about new beginnings, man. So we're here, we're gone. It's all about new beginnings. And it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, but we live in a very, very, very fast time travel. So I don't want y'all to forget that. But that's why I'm saying, that's why the reason of this channel is wishing everybody an okay, an okay life. You know, we're keeping you guys updated what's going on. We're reacting to stuff. We're even checking out older stuff. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you want to send, send it to me. You know, feel free. Again, I'm not going to bash anybody. I'm only going to love y'all, man. But uh, let's check this one out, man. Oh, boy. Nobody expected this. Let's check it out. Hey, y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and Melania Trump takes a stage at a Trump rally and does something that no one was expecting. Thank you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yes, man. That brings back memories, y'all. My whole life, uh, from a little boy, you know, from little league football, that was that was the prayer. You know, that was we said that at practice before the game, and then all the way till I got to high school, and even then when I played college football, you know, that brings back so many memories, man. And I used to love saying that. We used to love that prayer um, before, um, especially the football game started. You know, in the locker room. You know, everybody huddled around, the coaches, everybody, man. And we, we said that right there, y'all. Just like that, you know. Wow, that brings back memories. That brings back memories, you guys. God bless all you beautiful people around the world, man. And again, I'm wishing you all nothing but the best. If you're, if you're, if you're not, you know, religious or not, I'm, I'm wishing you all the best, man. You know, in 2024 and years to come. I love y'all. They got the blacks for Trump. Again, it's my first time seeing this. This is my first time seeing this ever. So again, it's a reaction video. It's a reaction. My first time seeing it. I'm looking at the signs in the back, man. Proud people in the back, man. All the beautiful patriots, baby. Good afternoon. It is my honor and great pleasure to stand here before you as the First Lady of the United States. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a breath of fresh air. Now, I'm not saying that we need to shout things from the rooftops when it comes from a religious perspective, but yep. something as simple as the Lord's Prayer, that's a worthwhile campaign event. 
because there's nothing wrong with any of those words. The America we envision is one that works for all Americans and where all Americans can work and succeed. Yes, indeed. Man. Salute to the veterans in the back. Man, y'all know we got so much love for our veterans on, on this channel, man. Our veterans, our first responders. Salute to our soldiers, man. Anyone that made that ultimate sacrifice. We love you. We thank you. Y'all know I'm big on supporting my veterans, man. My, my truckers, my veterans. My so a hey, my law, my first responders. Yes, indeed, baby. Y'all, it's crazy. The emails and stories I've read from 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 my veterans on my OK Rick channel. You know, it's you guys would just you guys were just bawl in tears of some of the stories I've read from my veterans, man. What they've had to go through, what they're battling with every single day, still to this day, man. And my and my my first responders, man. I got. Some law enforcement firefighters that have told me crazy stories. Oh, crazy stories, man. So we love, we love y'all, man. We thank y'all for making the ultimate sacrifice, man. We love y'all. A nation committed to a greater civility and unity between people from all sides, all sides. of the political divide. I will always stay true to myself and be truthful to you, no matter what the opposition is saying about me. I will act in the best interest of all of you. I'm committed to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart, which will have impact on women and children all around the world. My husband is creating a country of great safety and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Now that's something different, y'all. That's. That's something different because, first off, it's obvious, uh, Melania does not speak English as her native tongue, and you no. can hear that. That's fine. We're Americans. We're a great big melting pot. We can afford that, and we're cool with that. As a matter of fact, even the people that are seen as those evil, mean racists are out there cheering her on for two solid minutes. It's, it's rare that you see the first lady come out and get this much support. And I find that very unusual in political history. Granted, people are usually nicer to the first ladies than they are to their husbands. And uh, I mean, that started to change when Hillary Clinton started getting everyone's business back in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> but you have this unusual night and day difference between, let's say, Melania and, uh, oh, Michelle's too easy. How about Jill? Let, let's talk about Jill Biden for a brief moment. Jill Biden, in my opinion, is the one controlling Joe. Because she's the only one that knows how to properly handle him. Because he, behind the scenes, is apparently going crazy. He has no idea why Americans hate his guts. He has no idea why he isn't more popular in the polls. He is basically incredibly angry, at least when he's not eating ice cream, or taking a nap, or stumbling off the steps of Air Force One. Now, this might trigger some people to know, but you know what? Good. They should be triggered. And the best way to trigger your liberal friends is to go to our friends over at basedby.shop, link in the description below, show off to everyone how good you're looking and how conservative you really are. And so Joe Biden's out there just rambling uh, about things that he no longer has any memory of because his memory's gone. And Jill's out there doing her best to keep Joe in line from complete implosion. And ultimately, uh, she's done a fantastic job at that. But it means that I have no clue what uh, she's trying to do as a first lady. I think th there's, there's been a couple of times in history where this has happened. But you think that at least Melania has a lucid husband. <laughs> I think that's ultimately the choice that we have in 2024. But you have ultimately a first lady who is full of dignity, full of grace, and full of humility. And then you have others that are trying to do too much with too little. 
And I think the choice is going to be very, very clear coming soon. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Until then, y'all. Oh, wow. See some of the comments. Way to go. Man. Again, I want to read some of these comments out, but then again, it's on the other side, so I don't want to, you know, so I don't want to trigger or do anything, but man, a lot of loving comments, though. But hey, y'all coming down below what y'all think. We're wishing the best in everybody's life. In 2024, Patriots, this is our year, baby. I love y'all, and I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, you guys.